Uh oh, is this thing on? Show look like it to me. What down, Joe? It's not on TV here. Back with another boxing video. Out this motherfucker. All right, y'all. It's fight week, man. Uh, I just saw the last press conference for Charlo Canelo yesterday. Saw the face off. Saw the little, uh, you know, forced makeshift trash talk back and forth. It was like both of them were a little hesitant to talk shit to one another. Uh, I think both of them feel like they have a handicap coming into this shit. You know, uh, Canelo is shorter than Charlo. Um, let's reach, you know, cement feet. You know, good upper body movement, head movement, and, you know, punch placement and, you know, strong chin, but... What happens if a motherfucker teeing off and is able to move around you and be long like uh, Floyd was or even Bivol? But um, Charlo, he seemed, you know, nervous in the, in the sense of uh, or at least like he's coming into a handicap in the sense of shit. He been off for what, 14 months, some shit like that. You know, ain't this the same? This the same ring rush shit that I, I attributed to Earl's loss. Everybody coming out. You know, with all these other stories and Michael Jai Whites and, you know, Camp Moles and all this other shit. I might make a video about that. I might not, man. It just seems kind of pointless at this point. I mean, the fight was what it was. It happened how it happened. Can we get the rematch? Can we get the rematch at a higher weight to see if, you know, it was all just a fluke or at least at the very least, it shouldn't have been a complete wash like it was. But, uh... As for Charlo Canelo, man, uh, like Charlo, he's, you know, like I said, Charlo 14 months off or so. Uh, what else? Coming up two weight class despite being the taller man. And, um, hell, you fighting against Canelo. You know, Canelo is, you know, the fan favorite, man. He's the, he's the every boxer, the, you know, the guy that anybody can root for and get behind. Mexicans, obviously, because he's Mexicans. White, because he looks white. Red hair and all that shit, freckles. And everybody else, just because it's Canelo and, you know, the Mexicans and the white said so. You know? But it is what it is, man. Um, I hope it ain't no funny business in regards to, you know, robberies or, you know, wrong decisions or all that shit. You know, that'd be the type of shit make you want to see every fight end in a knockout. You know, um, <clears throat> my final prediction. Well, like I said in the previous video, man, on a technical sense, you know, dimensions wise, uh, power, um, boxing ability, Charlo should be able to, like, Go in there and run Canelo over. Make it an easy night for himself. He should be able to wash Canelo. He should be able to wash him. Like, I need to wash this fucking window. It's starting to rain out here. Yeah, man, you should be able to wash his ass, man. Like, for real, you know, you being a taller man, if you would stick your jab out there, stay away from him, place your punches, impose your will and your might and your power at times, Charlo should be able to wash Canelo. Will he do it? I don't know. Because even with the trash talk that I saw yesterday, he still had, you know, this respect for Canelo. When I'm used to seeing Jermail and, and Jamal, especially Jermail, you know, they be out here barking like junkyard dogs and shit, like a fucking rock waller in a, in a, in a, tire, in a tire yard or some shit. <laughs> but it's like, man, y'all quiet as church mouth when it comes to Canelo, man. It's too much respect. It's supposed to be fuck him and whoever and who's ever backing him. Fuck him. I'm coming in there to whoop his ass. Now, that's what he said, but I don't know. Not only that, but like I said before in the other video where I was talking about uh, Charlo being able to watch Canelo. Canelo does have a fucking sturdy chin, man. He's taking shots from the likes of Kovalev. He's taking shots from the likes of Triple G. You know, these supposed monstrous punches. So, you know, what can a, 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 a Charlo coming up two weight classes do to him, right? But we'll see, man. But like I said, my final prediction is 
Charlo by uh, Charlo by decision. That's that's a that's that's hard, right? Charlo by decision. I think he gonna bivvy Canelo ass. You know, I could be wrong. It's two left shoes, but that's my prediction. I'm gonna stick with it, man. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. It is what it is. But you know, this is one of those. This is another fight that's kind of fifty fifty. We don't really know because we don't know which Charlo is showing up. We don't know which Canelo's showing up. We don't know if Canelo's missed a step or not. But anyway, man, we'll figure it out on, on the night of in, the, in regards to that fight. Um, the undercard, undercard is pretty decent. Um, well, it's better than uh, it's better than the Crawford Spence undercard was. You got um, your Dennis Ugas return to action going against Mario Barrios, which that's a weird fight. Um, just because Barrios just seems like a boxer that doesn't have a permanent, you know, home. Like, nigga, are you fighting at 140? Are you 147? Like, what are you? Well, to, like, what are you? What are you doing? You know, not only that, but his, uh, you know, his, his, every time he fights, you know, or steps up, you know, to fight uh, high competition in, you know, in whatever given weight class he's in, whether it's Javante Tank Davis, whether it's Keith One Time Thurman, it's like this dude doesn't show up in, at, at, when it counts. So I have no reason to believe it's going to be any different with your Dennis Ugas, especially a, a, a grinder like your Dennis Ugas, who I feel would beat, you know, Keith Thurman possibly. Ain't no possible. I believe he'd beat Keith Thurman. But um, <clears throat> then you got Ramos versus Erickson Lubin. Which, I, I mean, the, the the work that Ramos put on uh, Joey Spencer, he was just bullying his ass around the ring. I, he might do the same thing to Lubin. I mean, Lubin's got, you know, he's got a little power. You know, he's got some decent technique. But, you know, he has been, you know, dropped before by power punches. So, we'll have to see what happens in that regard, man. But if I had to pick... A winner in that or I had to bet some money I would say Ugas over Barrios Ramos over Lubin and Charlo over Canelo but we'll see on fight night y'all it's no home TV man I'll be back with another peace